Welcome back to my playthrough of Assassin's Creed 1. This is episode 2. I will be doing the second assassination in this video. The previous one was the entire introduction and the first assassination. Um, my new screen arrived. If you watched the first one I mentioned there, uh, was where I ordered a new screen. It has arrived, so now I actually have a 1080p screen. So, um, yeah, so there ought to not be any black bars or any problems like that. And also, I uh, selected the correct mic this time, so hopefully, uh, you actually have proper audio this time. And uh, yeah, I've moved the mic like an idiot, and now there's probably a bunch of crackling. Oh well, that's just how, how it's going to be. Um, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Always a nice fellow, that. Um, let's see, any talkative, let's see, uh, yes, I went through all this in the previous episode, if I'm not mistaken, and I spoke to her, come on. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline, one week, well, okay. six days now. Deadline? I went through all this. I can't week. talk about it. Previous episodes. So. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage. Okay. I think before I continue, I just want to change one. See, now I can't change from here. Yeah, I can't mind. Uh, I'll change it in the next video. Oh, and for those of you wondering, um, this uh, this game does not really have proper subtitles. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Well, any subtitles for that matter, so uh, fortunately I can't turn this on for you. Um, but as far as I know, the other... Or the, or the other Assassin's Creed games have, so in the other ones, I'll turn them on. Okay, let's go. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? Uh, what are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is? Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts. Large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Only now noticing all these jagged edges. Yeah. Games have come a very long way <laughs> since this one. But it's all up quite well. Considering it's like a 2009 game if I'm not mistaken. And we're sitting now in January 2021. Well, I have already Jack uploaded at the end of the year. I have to play everything and everything. So, yeah. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. 
He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. So what's that? Okay, our uh, knife is added. And we go short blade, new ability counter kill. Yes, counter kill. And back to the courtyard. Alright, let's quickly go do that. Counter kill is very, very nice. Very useful as well. Altair! It seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. You must be busy. I understand. Do not merely hold your blade. Become one with it. Such wild swings will give your enemy an open. I think we're off. I think I'll first go to Jerusalem and then to Akko or Aiko, however you want to say. So yeah, but uh, see you there. structures to gain a bird's eye view of your surroundings. So, well, but that's not really done. Aka or Aka, I want to say, submissions. So, uh, yeah. So, sort of, sort of, 
have not grown up, but I still was going to get uh, yeah. She's complaining so much. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah. Nobody's trying to sneak in or anything. For those with the courage to seize them. Is there a reason for him to do that? Talal understands your pain. What, what you lack, he will provide. Oh. All you that must is not asked is an honest day's work. A small sacrifice you for great rewards. You need no longer go without. Any man willing to work can have his due. Come, speak with me. Let me tell you what Talal can offer. The comforts of a fine life can be yours. Who knows what the future holds? So once again I'll be doing all the safe citizen things and synchronization points and then I'll go to the bureau and uh, then I'll do all the mission things like interrogation and all that. So yeah, so I'll see you when I finish all these sync points. Who knows what the future holds? Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district and east in front of St. Anne's Church. Close to the Babariha Gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. Why are you still here? Friendly as always. I might do your job for you. Okay, it's just not very nice. <laughs> I got to be fair because of multi editing as well. Okay, good. So, oh, I don't even. I just went on. Okay, so sync points finished. We did this now. Um, so now we're going to go do all the air quotes main missions, more well, intel gathering missions, so that I can go and assassinate the uh, the black um yeah so i'll just skip the parts where i'll run to them and then i'll uh, show where i actually do them so yeah which one are we doing first i think we're doing this one and then now i'm gonna go like this so yeah start way over there you've no reason to stand here leave what do you want?
wasn't for the money, I'd be long gone. You're either stupid or blind. Maybe it's both. How can you say that? You didn't see what happened. I saw well enough. Our caravan was attacked, and the first thing he did was flee. No, he didn't run. What are you talking about? Do you forget what became of the men who attacked us? Filled by our archers, thanks be to God. Not our archers, him, alone. So you're saying he saved us? Yes, he headed for higher ground. Used his bow to kill them. I... I have no idea. The man's a master archer. You do well to remember that. Perhaps I should take notes. Okay. I'm just gonna leave because these people are completely insane. I can't wait to be fair with this. I'm not fun of them. Okay. I'll go to see that. He's going to run into someone. Safety and peace, Altair. We live in harsh times, do we not? I am in an ocean of trouble. I had a mission to investigate some strange disappearances in the rich district, and Talal's men saw my face. My status is compromised. Would you be kind enough to eliminate them for me in exchange for the information you seek? Hey, people are dying today. Oh, really? Are they inside? Yep. I am not safe until you eliminate these people. They know my face. Please come back to me with better news. I have exactly what you need. I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish. Who knew me? Excellent. Here's what I learned about Talal. He's a powerful slaver who occupies an area north of town, near the Barbican. He pays a tribute to the city guards so he can operate in the shadows. But from what you showed me today, I'm sure he will share the same fate as the others. Thank you again, Altair. You are wise indeed, which is why you've come to me. <laughs> Finest wares in all the land. Cool, next one. Um, let's go beat someone up. for great rewards. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you what love. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. Come, come, have a look. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. Like what you see? Come, have a look. You won't be disappointed. 
I have nothing to say to you. Speak to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop what? What work? He prepares them for the journey. Journey where? They are held in his warehouse. And when the time comes, they are sent to Akka. Where is this warehouse? And why Akka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. That's <laughs> <laughs> pleasure expression. <laughs> I've made some enemies. Al Mualim asked that I shadow the slave trader, and I did, though not well enough. He discovered me, and I've been running from his men ever since. I need to get out of the city, but I can't do it alone. Help me, and I'll share what I've learned with you. Thank you, brother. Take this map. It lists Talal's hiding places. Useful information should that coward choose to run instead of fight. And from what I know of the man, run is what he'll do. Black challenge, nice. Poor cool, don't fail me today. 
which is why you've come to me. Could is I this the great Altair before me? No? What an honor. You must be here for a very important mission. Maybe I could help you. I have been eavesdropping, and I have learned much. However, I have erred. I had some Masief flags to deliver to the bureau leader, but I lost them when attacked by thugs. Could you find them for me? I must be back to my mentor before he returns from the market, so you must be fast as the wind. Someone tell me why he's doing that. That is great. I knew I could count on you, Master Altair. Here is what I learned from listening to the guards near the Dome of the Rock. They were talking about the man named Talal. They said he has many loyal followers, all of whom will readily give their lives for the man. If their master is in danger, they are sure to intervene, giving Talal time to escape. That is all I know. I hope my small contribution will help. This is a nice guy. So, okay. Okay. And now to beat up one guy. Careful! I could have been hurt. If the guard won't take action, it falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet. But if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man. Learn everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered. Won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed. You'll need it.
Malik. Come to waste more of my time? I found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem's citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Yeah, I can't really fault the guy for being pissed off. I mean... Yeah, but really. Okay. Let's see. What is it, Altair? Come to admit defeat? I'm resting. Does this look like paradise? There will be no rest for those who do not fulfill their duties. Complete your mission! Now, slaver. Do not call me that. I only wish to help them, as I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Help imprisoning me. them? Save I me. keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here, to think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. to see the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light then, and I will grant you one final favor. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. This will teach you not to trespass. I will end your life. Enemy victory. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. 
to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al-Mu'alim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind. They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will. Thank <laughs> you. 
Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No, a skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. are a socially acceptable way to reach a rooftop. I trust you are successful? The slave trader is dead. Yes, the birds brought word to me. War is a dirty business. Labor and soldiers seem to be in short supply. Killing that man has saved countless lives. You've no doubt deprived the Crusaders and Saracens of additional troops. These are dark days, when men's lives are valued in gold, and such small amounts at that. He saw it differently, claimed they were not slaves at all, that he was helping them. Do you know how it is you can tell a man is mad? They speak to air, claw themselves. No. They are the ones who speak and act, as if there is nothing wrong. I don't understand. Few are the men who would admit to evil. Always rationalized. Always explained. So he lied? I was not there. Did not hear his words myself. But yes, if you speak truly, I think he was simply trying to excuse his deeds. I saw them, though. The men and women who would be slaves. They were a strange sort. Old, mad, sick. Weak, yes. What better way to make a soldier than to take a broken man and rebuild him? Give him all he's been denied, with the promise of more. It seems a lot of work. It is. But what you get in return is loyalty. Knowing what it was they stood to lose, such men would be loath to betray their savior. An interesting theory. See? There is still much I can teach you. Everyone deceives. Each other, themselves. Learn to pierce the veil, and know that nothing is true. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. That's such a lot like what he's doing, building him back up for loyalty. You can get throwing knives, nice tackle, that's good. Back to the courtyard. Right, I'm going to end this episode here, and then I'll see you guys next time, and then we'll go and do the next assassination. Cheers!